Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and greetings from Naha and Okinawa. Yes, we're back here again to eat even more delicious food. Today we're going to be visiting a place called Kokusai Dori Norengai. Uh, this is a building complex that houses many, many eateries, a variety of food here. Today we want to try out this place called Hanmart, which specializes in Okinawa style Korean food. I have no idea what that is, but super looking forward to it. So we're back here in Naha. Unfortunately, it's raining today <laughs> and it's going to be raining tomorrow as well. <laughs> but we heard that the food at this uh, Norengai, mm -hmm. which is inside a building, is delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I was curious when I heard Okinawa style Korean food. Very curious. I can't even imagine what that is. And it's not only the taste, mm. it's visually really good. Visually, ooh. Anyway, we decided to come to Okinawa this time you know, just for a few days. So we're mostly staying here in the Naha area this time. But you know, Naha, there's so many things to do. And this is the center of all the action. So all the shopping, all the restaurants are right here in Naha. And Kokusai Dori no Renga is located just the center of this Kokusai Dori street. Yes. The very busy area. Yeah, so super convenient. So we have entered the building. When you get in here, you have to decide which way you want to go. They have shops in the basement. They have shops in the second floor. Today we are here in Han Mart serving Okinawa style Korean food. It's located way in the back of the first floor in an area called Naha Ichiba. If you guys didn't know, we've made a few videos of Okinawa. A lot of good places to eat here. So if you miss any of those videos, make sure you check out our playlist. The link is in the description below this video. So, first thing is drink. Always drink. Regularly, I drink beer. But today, it's not their special drink. Look, this unicorn. What amazing appearance. This is called Jounteru. Jounteru is a cocktail combined with this jounde and soft drink. This jounde is a Korean shochu, but the alcohol percent is less than Japanese shochu. It's about 14%. It's the same as wine or Japanese sake. And this one is flavored. Mine is flavored with mango. At the bottom part is the soft drink. I chose this pear. Nashi, nashi bonbon. It's a Korean pear. But first thing, this appearance is wow. How creative they are. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. It's very refreshing and sweet, comfortable sweetness. Very fruity mango and pear flavor. So this one is really fun because you can combine all different flavors. I got the lychee along with the, what is this, uh, peach, peach juice. Ooh, wow, that's fruity. And you know what? This is dangerous. This is super fruity and sweet. It's like a cocktail. You can choose from nine flavors of Jeonde and nine flavors of soft drinks. So the first meal is chijimi, a Korean pancake. Regularly, chijimi is shaped like this, round style. But this one is very interesting. They cooked on the pan of taiyaki. The shape is like taiyaki. <laughs> taiyaki as it is. You can see a variety of ingredients inside. Itadakimasu. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm, it's very fun. The first impression, very fun. Because the outside is crispy. Sakuto. I like this sakuto texture. And inside is soft and pancake flavor came. And here is a sauce. Dip into this sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The chive flavor with this sauce matches so nicely. This sauce has a little bit of sourness, so it cuts through the fattiness of this pancake. It's good and fun. Mmm. All right, we're gonna dip it into this uh, sauce. I believe this is a kochujang sauce. We can look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Did you guys hear that crunch? Oh my God, it's so crispy. The inside is so soft and fluffy. There's like a variety of ingredients in here. I taste chives, I taste onion. Mmm, that's delicious. 
Mmm, this sauce is amazing. Like, that's what she says. There's tanginess in here. Mmm, look at that. Look at that. Look at all the chives in there. It's so fluffy. It reminds me of like okonomiyaki a little bit. Oh, delicious. Okay, next we got Goya Champuru. Goya Champuru is a traditional Okinawan dish, but this one is a little bit different. This is Korean style or the Hanmart style. Goya Champuru is basically a stir fried dish with um, Goya bitter melon, Okinawan tofu, and egg. But this one's a little bit different. It looks like omuraisu a little bit. The egg is on the top, and this one's sprinkled with uh, bits of uh, Korean nori seaweed. Really fluffy egg. Let's get some of that bitter melon, which I love. And that's a piece of pork right there. And a little bit of the nori, the Korean seaweed. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's pretty amazing. Actually, it is Goya Champuru, but it tastes different. It tastes a little bit different. It tastes meatier and has a lot of umami. I think that's from the Korean nori because Korean nori is flavored with sesame oil. That's it. Egg is incredibly fluffy. Piece of pork. That's uh, Okinawan tofu. Mmm. Oishi. I'm so glad we came here. The food is good, guys. It's really good. Goya Champuru. I've never eaten this style of Goya Champuru. So I took all in one my chopsticks. Mmm, fast. I amazing how fluffy this egg. It's like a omurice, Japanese toro toro soft omurice. The nori flavor on top of this egg. This is good. Yeah, Korean nori seaweed. It matches with this champuru so nicely. Pork and goya. Yeah, this goya has a bitterness, but don't worry, it's not super bitter. It's comfortably bitterness. Mmm, mmm, and combined with this umami, it is from pork, egg, or dashi, and nori, it's combined with nice umami, and it makes this dish, wow. Okay, then the last dish that we got is one of your signature dishes. This is the Korean fried rice. They are cheesy Korean fried rice. There's cheese on the outside with a sprinkling of green onions and there is this little chicken here. All right, squeezing the chicken, squeezing the rubber chicken. Oh, it just laid an egg. <laughs> that is so entertaining. This is the raw egg. We're gonna mix it together with the rice and the cheese. He said to mix it really well. Oh. It smells incredible. Oh, I see kimchi in here. I can already smell the kimchi, but then there's cheese as well. So you get the cheesiness of the cheese. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look incredible? Oh, this looks so good. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. Yeah, you can't even see the egg anymore. Actually, the egg is pretty much cooked. This is really good. I've never had fried rice with um, egg, no, with cheese. I've never had it with cheese. I'm getting kind of confused here because I, I saw the egg. I almost forgot about the cheese. But in my mouth, I taste the kimchi. I taste the cheese. And the egg makes it all mild. So there is a slight kick from the kimchi, but the egg makes it very, very mild. Mm, so much umami, so much flavor in here. And there's also pieces of pork in here as well. I want this whole thing to myself, it's so good. Mm, it's actually a little bit spicier now. Mm, the scalp, my scalp is starting to itch a little bit because of the, the spice. But oh, amazing dish. Kimchi chaham. Yeah. Appearance was really fun. Shinichi <laughs> squeezed the egg yolk, but I wanted to do that. It looks very fun. Itadakimasu. Mmm! Umai kore. The kimchi and cheese and this egg flavor combine really nice. And the vegetable, I think it is haksai, Chinese cabbage, has a nice texture. But overall, this spiciness and the egg mildness combine so nicely. It is really bit spicy but 
for me, it's comfortable spiciness and lots of umami, fermented umami flavor in my mouth. This is good. My drink, mango and pear. Mm, I like this appearance. This is so nice. Very me. By the way, the staff told us that uh, we can just keep drinking out of the straw, but he, he kind of recommends that um, you take this out. But I'm afraid it's going to overflow. He says do it very quickly. I did it! Oh my goodness! It's okay, it's okay. It's just a unicorn that fell over. No problem. Actually, this is just decoration, guys. <laughs> this is a drink. Mmm, it's so good. You know what? I'm gonna just try the, the jeonde by itself. I've never tried jeonde before. Once again, flavored jeonde, lychee flavor. That's pretty good. This by itself is already a cocktail. It's fruity and sweet enough. You almost don't need the juice. But of course, adding the juice, it's really, really nice. There's even some pieces of uh, peach in here from the juice. And guys, don't worry if you don't understand Japanese, you can access the English menu complete with pictures of the food from these shopping carts. There's a QR code on the shopping carts that are placed on each table. You know guys, this place is a lot of fun. You know, like I said, you know, this place it has not only just the first floor, but there's basement floor, there's a second floor, tons of places to choose from. Han Mart, I gotta say, is really good. At first, I thought it was just all gimmicky, but the food, the taste is really spot on. I gotta say, some of the best Korean food I've had. Anyway, this place is a really fun place to come with your friends. I guess even just alone, I guess. <sighs> it was so good. Definitely want to come back here again to try other stuff on the menu. They had so many things on the menu, but we are stuffed. We had a lot of food, really good food. So, by the way, Korean food is very popular here in Japan. And this shop serves Korean food twisted with Japan and Okinawa. Mm -hmm. That's very fun for me. Yeah, it's very, very unique. And, you know, honestly, that fried rice that we had, the Korean fried rice, was one of the best fried rice I've had. Mm. I never thought that fried rice, well, kimchi fried rice, goes so well with cheese. That was amazing. I think I'm going to try that at home next time. And the whole complex itself has so many varieties of food to choose from, so many shops to choose from. Once again, three floors, three floors full of different eateries. I think it would be a lot of fun to bar hop as well. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, go from mm -hmm. one place to the next. It was even like a taco place. You can have maybe a couple of tacos with beer. You can come to the Korean place and then you can go next door to a sushi. I think we have to come back to eat sushi. Yes, that yes, sushi definitely. place next definitely. to Han Market. So we really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed eating the food today. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember that we have lots of videos we made in Okinawa from our last trip and they're amazing videos. Obviously, there are other food to eat other than from the restaurants here in this one building. So please watch those before your next visit to Okinawa. Thank you for watching. See you on the next delicious video. Bye bye! Bye guys! Happy eating! Let me quickly tell you a little bit about our new holiday care package. Once again, created in collaboration with Kokoro Cares. Kokoro Cares offers authentic Japanese ingredients that are chemical free, all natural, just the same as all the products that we've included in this care package. You will find six products that we chose Kirazi crackers made from organic soybean pulp, lightly seasoned with salt. It's a super yummy snack. The Gomoku Kimpura is one of our favorite home style dishes. It's super easy to prepare. Shikwasa juice from Okinawa, which you can use to make salad dressings, enjoy with hot pot, and make a refreshing drink as well. Kanzuri, it's a traditional Japanese chili paste. We like using this for everything. The vegan Hayashi sauce to make Hayashi rice as well as a gravy for Japanese hambagu and other yoshoku dishes. And Kampyo, which is dried gourd shavings, which is not only tasty, but also super nutritious. We also include a booklet which includes four of our original recipes using the ingredients. This package is in sale right now and throughout the holiday season, but supplies are limited, so make sure to get yours early. We are certain that you guys will love the products we chose.